So this is my entry into Emma's tool making competition. If you look in the section view here, it's actually going to be this bottom section is a tap holder. This can freely move axially but rotationally. It's actually locked in with a key. And just so I can push it up and lock it into place, that's what this detent pin is. So the reason for this holder is for this mill. This is no quill. When I've got the vertical head in place, there's no give. If I try and drive a tap with the machine, it's either going to rotate in the chuck or it's going to snap. My intention is it'll be able to deliver torsion to the tap and the tap will be able to drive itself. All right, let's get into it. So the material I've got is 30 mil mild steel. 115. Actually, I to change the position. So there will be some slight steps in this taper. Can't feel it. Something tells me a taper attachment will be a future project. So I didn't get that taper perfect. I might sand and file this in a little bit more and smooth that taper out into the right angle. So I've just hit this with sandpaper and I've actually identified a ridge here. So that was stepping over the top slide. Okay, so here's the setup in the mill. I've shot myself in the foot a bit by turning this taper first. So I've got it suspended on a screw jack at this end. It's been tapping it up and down so I can actually indicate the shaft parallel. All the features I need to add are either parallel or perpendicular to the shaft. So if I indicate that, better than a hundredth of a millimetre. That'll do me. So I'm gonna have to work down through the jaws of the vise in order to do these next steps. Okay, so now I need to drill a cross hole. Keyway lining up with this jaw, actually set it 90 degrees. I need to come up with a better way of slotting, so I'm going to push on with other parts of the build.
I almost need a self-driving tap holder. I'm making the key out of a different type of stock. I mean, come on. Key, lock tied in. Tape a lead in at the bottom. It worked. Hole number two. Okay, power tapping. Power tap the right. Where's my key away? Oh. oh. So, problem with that, the part actually tilted. And then when I was flicking around with it, bent the tap and snapped her. Hmm. The snapping wasn't the fault of the tool, it was just my setup. So this was a Sunday afternoon test for the concept. Now I could adapt this same principle for this. It could have been held in a drill chuck like this one was. But the problem with that is vertical height in my mill. So it would mean drill chuck, holder, and then the tap. Straight away you're losing too much height. So I'm actually planning on putting a precision riser block under my mill to jack it up. So that I can actually put in bigger tools. But that's six months, a year away. It'll happen.